regardless if it's a little bottle or can, I'm going to be reviewing a beer today, guys. Oh, PC's Beer Reviews, PC's Beer Reviews, PC's Beer Reviews. Well, it's another episode of PC's Beer Reviews, which boy, PC. Well, I've got a new one on my head, and since it's getting that time of year, I think it's kind of fitting to try this beer. Yeah, this is what I got. I've got War Pigs Brewing Company's Strange Phenomenon Interdimensional Lager. Yep, I'm doing War Pigs. I think they're owned by, I think, Three Floyds Brewing. But let's crack this open. Let this breathe. Well, you know, this is what I got. Got a nice white head, spongy like. Got some, a lot of bubble formations, large, small, big, all kinds of size. Looking good. A little hazy, as you can see. Uh, this comes at you with a 5.3 ABV and a 62 IBU according to untapped okay so uh they're located in munster indiana which is kind of i think fitting for this beer or at least by the way the packaging of this beer is so uh so it's supposed to be flavor of citrus and orange marmalade and uh clean dry finish with a nice uh Lemon grass and melon aroma. It's a happy, crisp and happy lager. So they say, according to the company. So we'll put that to the test. So see how it smells. Yep. Yep. Floral aroma, grassiness. Yep. Smells good. Mm. Lemon grass. Yep. Melon. Yep. Smelling good. Yep, smells good. Uh, well, enough of the jibber jibber. We'll see how this bad boy tastes. Ooh, that's good. That's hoppy. That's really hoppy. It's dry. Yes. Getting that citra out of there. Now you're getting with some orange, a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely clean, dry finish. I like that. Nice mouthfeel, goes down good. The only thing that's lingering on the tongue is the hoppiness. That's about the only thing that's lingering on the tongue. But other than that, it seems to be a solid beer. And, you know, it's kind of good. It's got, like, a, a dead spaceman here. Right here. They've got some sort of drag in here on the front. It's all black and white with the exception of a little green. So, I mean, it looks nice. All black. Can't even the top's black, except for the bottom. So, it's actually nice. And it says a dream that... Once shown bright, only to burn like a falling star, reborn from the flames, I have returned. Warpigs.com. So, 
Yeah, it's a nice looking can. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, God, what is that? Uh, it, it's the other one with the de skeleton on the front. Uh, God, was it Dead Brewing? I forget what, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, what is that? I can't remember that. But anyways, it's, it reminds me of that. It has like a black can skeleton sitting with some sort of weird head with a cross on it. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. So I forget what it was, but I know I reviewed it. But it, but this actually seems like a really good beer. And yeah, I can see it with being a 62 IBU with the bitterness that they've got in this for sure. And these guys are next to me, almost neighbors practically. So if you ever get a chance to try them out, if I had to give this one a grade, I would have to give this one a a nine, nine out of 10 for sure. So it's awesome. So I hope everybody enjoyed their Memorial Day weekend. I hope everybody was safe. Everybody tried responsibly. Hope everything was good, cool, and your barbecue was awesome. So I'll check you out next time. Like I always said, hey, drink responsibly. Don't do nothing stupid. Peace out, brother man. Peace out, sister girl. And I'll check you out next time here on the next PC's Beer Reviews. Thank you.